Hello everyone, I am Dr. Danit Salim. Today we are going to discuss about thyroid swelling and thyroid nodule. Many people are having thyroid swelling and they think that it can be due to goiter or it can be due to hypothyroidism. But when you feel over the neck, sometimes you may get a hard or firm substances over your neck. So it is called as a nodule. There are different types of nodule. And when you get a nodule, don't think that it is always a cancer. So today's topic is that all thyroid nodules are not cancer. So we are going to discuss about the thyroid nodule. We have an endocrine surgeon here, Dr. Aromal Chegavar. We are going to discuss about those topics. Welcome Aromal. So can you explain about what is a thyroid nodule? So thyroid swelling, normally we call it as goiters. Goiter means swelling in a thyroid. So thyroid swelling can be three types. The first category is called as diffuse goiter. Diffuse goiter means old thyroid gland. You may be knowing thyroid is something like a butterfly. It has got two wings. We call it as right lobe, left lobe and isthmus. So if it is diffusely enlarged, when totally thyroid is enlarged, we call it as a diffuse goiter. So the second category is called solitary thyroid nodule. In that condition, thyroid will be, no thyroid will be normal in size and shape, but it will have one nodule only single nodule that uh, nodule means it's a, something like a tumor so that is called solitary thyroid nodule and the third variety is called multi nodular goiter so uh, thyroid will be having multiple small small nodules so there are three types as i told you one is diffuse goiter another is solitary thyroid nodule otherwise uh, the third variety is called multi nodular goiter how to evaluate this thyroid nodule what all tests to be done at hospital so to evaluate a thyroid nodule first we will check thyroid functioning normally or not. So how to check thyroid function is based on three hormones. One is T3, another is T4. This T3 and T4 secreted by thyroid. And the third hormone that is thyroid stimulating hormone that is called TSH that is secreted by pituitary that is sitting inside our head and this pituitary control over the thyroid. Actually this is something like a master of thyroid. Okay. So based on this T3, T4 and TSH value uh, we will find the thyroid is functioning normally or not. If I, uh, majority of cases, thyroid will be functioning normally. That means thyroid will be adequately secreting the hormones. So if T3, T4 and TSH level is in the normal limit, we call it as a euthyroid state. And in few cases, it may be hypothyroid. Hypothyroid means thyroid will be not functioning adequately or hyperthyroid. That means thyroid will be uh, hyper functioning. So first we will check with T3, T4, TSH. Based on that, we will see it is having normal function or not. Then the next stage of our evaluation is we will look at the nodule. Is there having any uh, high risk features? So to evaluate a nodule, what we do normally is high resolution ultrasonography. In a high resolution ultrasonography, for the first thing we will see is, is it a solid or a cystic lesion? Solid means it is solid. Cystic means a water filled cavity, something like a bubble. Or the second a feature we will look at is is it hypoechoic, hyperechoic, or isoechoic? That is based on their appearance. In if you compare with a human, we will see is a dark skin person, fair skin person. In similar way, in uh, by using ultrasound, we will see the color of the nodule. That is the echogenicity. The third feature we will look at is is there any micro calcification? You may be knowing about calcium and calcium deposition. In some cases, thyroid nodules can have deposition of calcium. If there is small, I mean very minute uh, calcium deposition is there, we call it as a micro calcification. Micro calcification is a high risk. And the other thing is, we will look at the borders of th uh, this particular tumor. In high risk tumors, the, uh, the, that, that means the tumors having high possibility of malignancy, that will have a irregular or ill defined borders. And the benign tumor, that means non cancerous tumors, will have smooth borders. So, first we will look at all these features and look at other lymph nodes also because all of you will be knowing if there is a thyroid cancer there is a probability that this cancer can spread to lymph nodes that is they are sitting beside this thyroid nodule so we will be looking at any suspicious lymph nodes also there so, so based on all these features we will stratify this nodule as high risk intermediate risk and low risk based on thyroid's classification thyroid means thyroid imaging reporting system so just imagine your nodule is in high risk category or intermediate risk category. In those cases, we will go for a fine needle aspiration cytology. And even though if the nodule is large in size with a low thyroid score also, we will go for a fine needle aspiration cytology. So 
you will be thinking what is this FNAC is. FNAC means fine needle aspiration cytology. We will be putting a needle inside this nodule and we will take out small cells from, uh, from the nodule and we will stain it and look for any cancer cells in that. This is the uh, concept of fine needle aspiration cytology. So, based on the fine needle aspiration cytology, we will plan the treatment further. So, when you do fine needle aspiration cytology, the reporting system is called as Bethes dust system. In that, the nodules can be stratified uh, based on the cytology report from 1 to 6 category. In first category, in few cases, whenever you do a fine needle aspiration cytology, cells won't be enough to report that. Uh, cytology smear that is called as uh, inconclusive report. In that condition, we will repeat the fine needle aspiration cytology again. And the second category that is the most common category, as I told you initially, 80 percentage of thyroid nodules are not cancerous. So, this 80 percent of nodules will be uh, listed in this Bethesda 2 category. In Bethesda 2 category, that means 99 percentage it is not a cancer. These are benign tumor. So, in this, if, if your nodule is in Bethesda 2 category and you don't have any compressive symptoms, what you have to do is only you have to do ultrasound every 6 months and check your hormone in every 6 months. Just to see that this is not growing or any new other nodules are not forming or no features of cancer is appearing. So, what we will do is, if you are in 80 percent of patient, once you will land up in um, Bethesda 2, we will keep you on regular follow up. So, the best part of this is in 80 percentage of cases we can avoid a unnecessary surgery. We can save your thyroid. This is the all purpose of doing this fine needle aspiration cytology. Then in remaining category 3, 4, 5, 6, six sixth category is having highest risk of malignancy. That means if your FNAC is uh, Bethesda 6, it's almost 99 percentage, uh, percentage probability that you are having a cancer. If it is in fifth group, you are having a almost 75 percentage risk of having a cancer. In third category, it is almost 15 to 20 percentage and in fourth category, it is almost 30 to 40 percentage. So, based on your risk, your age, your gender, the characteristics of the nodule and FNAC report, we will plan further treatment. So, as I told you initially, 80 percentage of the cases will land up in Bethesda 2, that means not a cancer lesion. So, you have explained about the test. So, can you tell me the complications of thyroid nodule? What are complications the patient can face and when they have to go to a hospital? Majority of thyroid nodules, almost 80 percentage of the nodules are asymptomatic. Asymptomatic means there is no symptom at all. But if, if the tumor is progress or the, uh, even non-cancerous tumor is compressing, you can develop symptoms. One symptom is, very common symptom is voice change. Uh, the people known to you only will tell you are having some problem with your voice, you are having voice fatigue, that means after talking for some time, you will have difficulty. The other thing is breathlessness, the nodule uh, compresses the windpipe, you will have breathlessness. The, these patients commonly come and tell like, doctor, I am walking, I have breathlessness or while I am lying down, I am not able to lie down supine, I have to turn to one side and sleep. This may be due to the compression due to the nodule. The other thing is, in rare occasions, you can have pain also. So, if you are having any of these characteristics and a benign nodule, maybe you may have to go for a surgery. But in 80 to 90 percentage of the cases, you can avoid a surgery. So, Dr. Aramal have properly explained about thyroid nodule and when to evaluate and how to evaluate. So, kindly share this information to other people. We will definitely come with a new topic soon. Take care everyone.